What's the big deal about Charleston Primary School? All schools are good schools. I just want her to be the best. I shouldn't be penalized for doing everything I can for my daughter. I'm a mother. If that means that I have to do 800 hours of volunteerism, I will. When things are going good, it's about to get worse. Previously on Lion Moms. Must be quite tough, huh? Bringing up a small boy all by yourself. She can run her company, but she doesn't know how to run her own household. You want an A-class phony. Pretending that everything is perfect, everything is wonderful. Are you my daddy? <laughs> Kai is your son. Kai? Robert left? That won't happen to us, right? No, no way. Namina, no, wake up! Nice to meet you. You have a problem? Yeah, I have a problem oh. with you. Stop it. It's over, okay? It's finished. From now on, we do things my way. You did my first. I told you I'll take care of you. You lost the right to tell me what to do when you left. Jen, it's illegal. People have been fined and jailed for doing this. It's not if I actually move here and then change the address on my identity card. It's morally wrong. You can't mess with the system. I deserve that place. I didn't miss out on getting my daughter into the school that I want because I was chasing my career. And I didn't? I can't believe you just said that. You went to the school to report me. I would never have done that to my best friend. What the hell? Marcus. Marcus, you don't understand. All this while you were convincing me they're just friends. And right now you're interested? Marcus, it's not like that. Marcus, stop, please. I show you the ring! I was gonna propose! Marcus! Stop! Min! I kissed him, Marcus. He didn't kiss me, I kissed him. Ping, can you give us a moment? Sure. I thought you said there was no one else in Sky. It was all true. I just never expected to have Ping in my life. What about us? Marcus. I went from schoolgirl to single mom. I know it sounds selfish, but I've missed out on a lot. I don't want to be somebody's wife right now. Maybe it's too early to talk about marriage, but you have to be ready to commit and I'm willing to give you as much time as you need. You will? You left me once, but I found my way back to you. We have something special, and I know that we're going to be okay. Just let me know when you're ready, okay? If we could start over again, then maybe we would have said, Can we try? Why don't you take our car to school anymore? Because my mommy is angry with your mommy. They quarreled? Yep. 
And my mummy is not talking to your mummy. And my daddy is not talking to Uncle Peng. What's wrong with the dogs? They're funny like that. They scold us for fighting. And then they fight. <sighs> All because of Charleston. Mummy's registering me there very soon. My mummy wants me to get into Charleston because it's a good school. Mine too. Mine doesn't, but my grandpa does. Why is Charleston a good school? I don't know. No idea. I'm clueless too. <sighs> yes, I'll get to it later. Look, I can't talk right now. My wife's at home. Everything okay? You look kind of pale. Who are you talking to on the phone? Oh, but it's just work stuff. Jen, can I come in? No. What do you mean she is not sure? I'm just trying to give her space and time. To be fair, Ping is... Ping! I'm telling you, Ping is a good-for-nothing troublemaker. No need to be rude to him. Honesty is not being rude. What can he do for Kai, huh? Kai needs his father. She can't do it on her own. Oh, let me give you an example. Do you know that P1 registration is coming up and she's still not Kanjong? Oh, where is she planning to send Kai? I want him to go to Charleston. But Minnie wouldn't hear of it. I'm from Charleston too. And then I went to APS. What? Oh my god, really? Eddie, Eddie, did you hear that? Oh my goodness! We are saved. Okay, we have no time to waste because uh, the last day of registration for Phase 2A, the alumni, is this week. You must register Kai. I miss Chen. Then go talk to her. It's not the first time you guys quarrel. But it's not the same this time. She covered up for me, okay? And I was about to go tell on her. She's never gonna forgive me. And all of this because why? Because I was worried that she was gonna take up just one more space for balloting. <sighs> Are you listening to me? Yeah. But whatever my reply is, I'm sure my head will get bitten off given the mood that you're in right now. You're not helping at all. You're not being supportive here, okay? See? Point proven. Why are you so busy polishing up your boots anyway? You never really polish them. New boss coming in tomorrow. Must give the best first impression. Eh, I thought he's coming in next week. Do you know him? No idea. Some newly minted Lieutenant Colonel from HQ. He wanted to get his start on things. Wow. Sounds like a hard ass. Good luck. You won't believe what I just heard. What? Robert's coming back. What? Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. It's good morning, sir. You must be new. You must remember the protocols. I heard the new colonel is a real hard ass. 
might chew your head off if you don't grip properly. Hey, morning. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, sir. Ah, good, Riza. I see you have met Kena Hussein. You and your team will be reporting to her from next week onwards. I'll see you in the see office. Okay. Carry on. Cat got your tongue? Do remember your manners, Major. I can be a real hard ass. Robert's coming back. What? But how can they let him after how he left us? Apparently, he's coming back with some high-profile clients and a senior partnership. But that's not right. It's not your first day at work. As long as it's legal, as long as the door keeps coming in, who's going to question the morals? What's happening to our law firm? I don't know. But I better get back to work. Or I'll be replaced by Robert soon. Some good up and coming shows? Why don't you answer it? It's just work. You're doing it again, aren't you? Doing what? That's another woman. What? No! Whispered phone calls when you think I'm in the room. When your phone rings, you go to another room. Classic signs, Richard. There's no other woman, Jen. That's what you said all the other times. Why don't we just make it easier for all of us and you leave now? I'll even help you pack your bags. What, Jen? Jennifer? Just, just leave. Just... Are you okay? Oh. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Grandpa. Kai's not feeling too well. I'm just dropping him off. Min will pick him up later. Come in. Hello. Okay, why don't you go upstairs and play first, okay? Bye, Uncle Peng. Bye. You. You've been lying to us all this time. Don't pretend like you care about Kai. If you did, you'd leave his mother alone. But I treat him like my own. It's not the same, and it never will be. Kai has his own father who wants to take care of him, and more importantly, can afford to. I have a job now. You do realise that Richard only gave you that job because Jennifer asked him to, right? Don't you feel any shame being some sort of charity case? Emmy, there's no need to be so nasty. Who cares about his feelings? I am talking about the future of my grandson and my daughter. Grandpa? Uh, Kai, don't worry, we're just um, talking to Uncle Ping. Grandma will be right up, okay? Go, go, Uncle. Thanks, Doc. How are you feeling? Are you sure you're not cheating on me? Jen, I swear I'm not. It's just you and the kids, and that's all that's important to me right now. Then I'm really excited. Richard, we're having another baby. Ada's gonna love being a big sister. I mean, it's gonna be tiring. We're gonna have sleepless nights and diaper changes, but... Richard, we're having another baby. <laughs> Richard, say something. We're having a baby. We can't have this baby. Hi, I'm back. Mommy! Hi, Sam. 
Hello, Mom. Hi, thank you. Is Daddy in the shower? He's not home yet. He's coming back late. Daddy said his new boss is a slave driver. Really? Poor Daddy. <laughs> Come, let's go. You think the baby is Shane's? Well, it could be, right? It was just one time. It's not about Shane. You think I'm a bad mother? You think I can't discipline my own son? You think I can't get Aiden into a good school? You're an amazing mom and you know that, Jen. Well, then we're back to square one. It's another woman. It's always another woman with you. It's not another woman. But who wants to be with someone who's bankrupt? What do you want me to do? It's over, okay? It's finished. Look, I told you I'm working on it. I'm bending backwards to solve this. Come on, just give me another chance. Uh, two weeks, I promise, okay? Jen, we can't have the baby. I messed up. The business, it was going downhill. I was losing money, big time. I tried to save it, but I couldn't. I lost everything. What do you mean you lost everything? We're bankrupt. I'm bankrupt. Hey. Hey. Nabila, sleep already? Yes. Oh, wow. Um. 11 o'clock. That's your record. So this Colonel Hussein, he's a slave driver, huh? Yep, she's a tough one. So Colonel Hussein is a she? Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm his first female Colonel. Hmm. But whatever it is, that old hag shouldn't have worked my husband this hard, right? She reminds me of you, actually. Smart, capable, driven. So sweet. <laughs> but old and nowhere as pretty as I am, right? Morning, boss. Hey, Peng. Um, hey, so, um, I, um... What is it? Look, I'm just gonna say it. Um, Jennifer wanted me to give you this job, and, and, and I shouldn't have, uh, but I, I just wasn't ready to tell her that... You want me to resign? No, no, Peng, I... I wasn't ready to tell her that my, my, my business, it's, it's gone, it's done. I, I, I pretty much lost everything. You mean there's no job? I mean, there, there's, there's no car, there's no office, it's, it's all gone. It's, I mean, maybe if we can sell the house, I can save something, but, but that's it. But I already resigned from my other job. Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry, Peng. Well, that'll be all. Thank you, everyone. Good work. Excuse me, Darren. Can I speak to you for a while? Yes, of course. I'll catch up with you later. So, when were you planning to tell me that Robert's coming back? How did you... It's just that Robert brings in the bottom line. And I don't? You know, that's not what I meant. He's willing to use unconventional methods to bring in the business. That's fine, but where does that leave me? You cannot have two partners in the same department. That's why we may have to move you to Australia. What? Well, just think of it as a kind of promotion. You'll be heading... You know what, Darren? You might as well just fire me. You know I can't live. What, we've raised us job and Nabila's starting school? Jurani, come on. Let's just think about this rationally, OK? Forget it.
I'm sorry, everyone. I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, as I was saying, for Operation Thor, my suggestion is that we eliminate the hate in a covert exercise and we sweep up the chaos after. Thank you. Thank you, Major. Colonel Ko was right about you having interesting ideas. Thank you, everyone. We shall continue our discussion next week. Major? Yes, ma'am. I would like to discuss more about the strategies of Operation Thor over lunch. I hope you don't have any plans. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, I've got no plans at all. Good. Um, I'll ask Mary to book a place. Together for suits, just like old. Days. Look, we have each other, so everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> By the way, I'm so sorry about this morning. I wasn't very supportive about your mother in law. Jen, I miss you so much. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have let the P1 registration come between us. I'm sorry too. I was so crazy. I wanted to call you so many times. Me too. I, I called you and then I cut it off and then I called you again and I cut it off again. And I came here because I know this is where we usually meet. Me too. But everything's going to be okay because we have each other. There's so many things I need to tell you. Me too. I'm, I'm fine. fine. What? Daddy went to school here and I loved it. I hope you will too. I love it, Daddy. <coughs> oh no, are you still coughing? Can you hold this? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, have some water. You're doing the right thing, Marcus. How, how do you manage to convince me to pass you the birth set and immunization records? <laughs> That's easy. I offered to take Kai for his pre-primary one vaccination. They both need the same documents. My daughter just cannot understand how important it is to get into the right school. I mean, he's going to be so mad. Marcus, it's for the greater good. Remember that. It's for his future. <coughs> hey, you better drink more water, okay? You sound like you caught something. <coughs> yeah? You okay? Poor boy. Mm, let's go home. <coughs> Come. You should go. Come. Here you go. <coughs> uh, uh, uh. No more caffeine. We want to make sure your baby's all good and healthy. So, Jen. Do you think it's Richard's? I don't know. I mean, I was just so excited about the pregnancy. It didn't occur to me that... I'll get some tests done. I can't believe Richard's bankrupt, though. That's why he came crawling back. My husband's a workaholic now. He's been coming home late the past few days. Well, be careful. Because that's how it started with Richard. Reza's not like that. Well, I'm going to be jobless soon, so I'll have time to check up on him. Well, 
Here's the exciting balloting. That's right. You did what? I I'm sorry. I didn't know your mom took the documents without your knowledge. Oh, I'm going to murder her. Okay, you've got to unenroll him, deregister him or whatever. Get him out of Charleston Primary School. Wait a minute. Do you know how hard it is to get into Charleston? People buy houses nearby and they volunteer a crazy amount of hours just so they can get in. I am not one of those people and I do not want that for my son! He's my son too, okay? This is just a horrible, horrible mistake. What is? Putting Kai in Charleston or putting me in Kai's life? Everything. Everything. So you came back because you had nothing left. I still have my family. Your mistress left you because you have no money. I realized what's important and who's important. All this time, a caring father, a loving husband, it was all an act. What do you want? It wasn't an act, Jen. What do you want, Richard? The house. This house? The house he bought so that Ada could go to Charleston? Look, if we sell the house, I might be able to bounce back. I promise I could probably recoup those losses. A year, two, that's it. For what? Recoup all your losses? So that you go throw the money away again? So you'd sleep around again? No, Jen, I won't. Please, just help me out here. Where would we live? At my mom's for a while. I mean, we could buy a cheap flat in the one kilometer radius of Charleston. Look, whatever you do, I... Whatever you decide to do with the baby, I will be supportive. I swear, Jen. I mean, all, all that matters to me right now is the family. Min. Marcus, you can't just take over my son. I'm not trying to. You've been doing a great job with him. Then let me do what I have to do. I had my own plans for him. <laughs> like what? Send him to just any school? All schools are good schools! That's bullshit and you know it. Charleston obviously worked well for me. Well, they obviously didn't have a very good moral ed program because you went behind my back. Look, I just want Kai to have the head start that I did. But anyway, that's not the main reason why I did it. I'm sure my father had nothing to do with it. Forget about your dad. I asked Kai. Do you know he loves math? He's like some math genius. You should see the way he tackles those problem sums. Kai wants to go to Charleston. He does? It's his choice. Did you even ask him where he wants to go? Min, we gotta stop fighting. Kai needs us both. Give me a chance to make our family work. It's the best for Kai. Marcus, you're Kai's father. You're always gonna be a part of my life. But we're just too different. And I love Ping. Ping, Kai is having an asthma attack and he's burning out 40 degrees. Call Marcus.
Don't worry, buddy. It's just a teeny tiny asthma attack caused by some nasty viruses. Thanks, Daddy. I love you. I feel much better now. Just remember to eat your medicine and drink lots of water. Thank you, Marcus. I don't know what we would have done without you. He was delirious and he was burning up and he couldn't breathe. Hi, hi, hi. I'm Kai's dad. It's my job to be here. Just give me a call if you need anything, okay? I remember when your voice was loud and clear Times like this I wonder if you're here I try to fill the void with empty thoughts What's going on here? Kai, where's your shirt? Real men don't wear shirts. I'm teaching Kai to be a man. You're teaching him to be a slob. An echo of the past. Do you hear me when I'm calling? It's not the same, and it never will be. Kai has his own father who wants to take care of him, and more importantly, can afford to. Can you show me that you are ready? I'm convinced that silence is just not enough for me. Hey, Jerry. How are you? I'm good. You're an actress, right? I need a huge favor. Hi, Sayang. Hey. What happened to your bike? I was so tired, Sayang. So, Nora, uh, I mean, Colonel Hussein offered to drive me home. Hi. You must be. There is a place. Oh, my word. Durani Maslan. Nora. So, you are Colonel. Hussein? <clears throat> so, you guys know each other? Of course we do. She stole my first boyfriend when we were in school. Correction. He left you for me. What do you want? I want you to take care of Minnie and Kai. I could never be the father that you were tonight. I can't support them in a way they deserve to be supported. I don't know what to say, man. Just love them and take care of them. Yeah, yeah, of course. Another thing. I need somewhere to crash till I find a place to stay. Yeah, sure. You can um, you can stay with me. Hi. Hi. Is Ping in? Yeah, I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, I'm his... Jerry, what are you doing here? Ping! Ping, I thought you said you lived alone. Ping, what's going on here? Who is she? Who am I? I'm his fiancé from Malaysia. Who the hell are you? Fiancé?
Alamak, so early and so many already. Sure balloting. Should take a chance or try to go into a school with no ballots. We try balloting now. Let's go. Where are you going, Uncle Peng? I'm sorry, Kai. I just want you to know that no matter what happens, Uncle Peng loves you very much. And take care of your mother. Kai, go to your room. Sorry, old habits die hard. I guess I'm just not a one woman man. Just get out. I'm your new housemate! New housemate? I don't know where ah! oh, what the hell? I thought you were going to work! I need my jacket! To work! You're a busybody, you know. So are you staying or not? I don't know if I can carry this on. Housemates take care of each other, right? Any other questions? Happy birthday! But it's not my birthday. But my mommy told Auntie Jennifer that she saw you in your birthday stuff. And it was nice. Really? She said that? It's unmistakable, can't you understand? We're not unbreakable. Oh no, we're not unbreakable. From the looks on your faces, it looks like balloting is a certainty. I don't know what I'm going to do if Nabila doesn't get into Charleston, so... My husband's bankrupt, I'm moving into an HDB flat, and I'm getting the DNA and other test results from the gynae tomorrow. Wow, so many big results tomorrow. I just hope Ada and Nab get into Charleston Primary School. That's the only way I'll let Kai go. What's wrong with our lives? Well, at least we have each other, right? He doesn't trust her. So are you all prepared for the balloting already? Yeah? You know my son got in already, you know? Oh, so happy. Yeah, I know I'll talk to you later. Okay, okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye, bye, bye. Hi, yo, the two of y'all balloting at phase 2C. Very hard to get in, you know? Hi, Serafina. Hi. What are you doing here? Didn't Cristiano get in already? Of course. My son's future is all set. I'm just here to give moral support. Y'all must be very worried, right? If your daughters don't get in here, uh, don't know what terrible school they'll get into. Ayyo, headache. And you know what's the worst part? There are twins in this year's ballot. You know what that means, right? One number, two will get in. <sighs> terrible, terrible. Good luck, y'all. Hey, hi! I love that woman. So do I. So do I. Okay, let's do this. Uncle Peng! Uncle Peng! You Mommy and Uncle Peng! There's something I need to tell you.
The first child to get into Charleston is number three, Vignesh Gobal. I got the envelope this morning. And? I didn't open it yet. The second number I wanted to, to open it with you. Number 12. Chen Jiaming. Okay, let's open it. Mommy, Uncle Mommy, Peng is you. calling you. Hi, let's go. Mini is about Marcus. Mommy, I want you to talk to Uncle Peng. Mini, Kai. Number eight, Ho Sin Yi, Ho Sin Yi. Congratulations. Shh, shh. What happened? I think the twins got in. Two places taken up. That means there's only three spots left. Jen, open it. Jen, what is it? Mommy, Uncle Peng's calling you. Kai, let's go. Mini is about Marcus. Mommy, I want you to Uncle Peng. I miss him. Mini, Kai. Kai? Stop it. Come, let's go. I miss him. Ugh. Yay, Mommy! This is the happiest day of my life. Mommy and Uncle Peng. I should never ever become so angry with each other. Me too. I love you, Mommy! We are down to the final two places for this phase of balloting. The next place... Jen, are you going to...? ...goes to number... Hello? Peng? What? Jen, what's going on? Kai, a accident. We've got to go. The second last place goes to number six. Nabila Binti Reza. The final place in Charleston goes to number 15, Edda Li Jia Hui. Just you and me. Okay. What do you want for your birthday? Lego? I love you. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You bet! Oh, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Enough. You've outdone yourself, Jen. Oh. It's a wonderful breakfast for my wonderful children. Oh. What would I ever do without the two of you? <laughs> Are we ready? Let's do this.